this video from ShopStuff, we're taking a look at how you can alter the description of a payment button as it appears on the end of day sales report. So if you've seen my previous video, I've previously set up the no sale button to be called charge free, um, which is basically a third method of payment button. I've then changed the description um, of the button as it is in the register mode so that when you press it it acts like a charge free button but it's called PayPal and then on the till receipt it says PayPal but currently when you just change the description there on your end of day report you get charge free in draw and then charge free sales um, which isn't incorrect but it's obviously just the, the proper process would be to reprogram the whole descriptor so that you're it's easier to tie up your end of day report. It's fairly straightforward to do. It is in the manual, but it's like buried away. Um, and you can actually change a lot of the descriptors on the financial report message. Um, I've done a little crib sheet of how I'm going to do it here, but this only affects the lines I'm programming. So the process is the same, but you'll see I'm changing 57 to 65 when I do the charge free sales as opposed to the charge free in draw. And these numbers, 57 and 65, have come from the financial report message. So if you've got access to the manual, um, check that out. Um, so I'll just show you the process for these two buttons, and then you can use it for whatever button or description you're looking to change. Um, so the first thing to do is to turn the key round to the PGM position. And then as per the flowchart, type in 701. Then hit the subtotal button. Then you type in the um, number 57 if you're changing the charge free in draw. So that's the, that is the number that I've got from the chart. So 57. Then you press the quantity time button. And now you type in the description um, for what you want the button to be. So you'll need the alpha overlay, the original master keyboard. I'm quickly call mine PayPal. Technically, you should probably call it PayPal in draw just to keep it in line with the default SAM 4S description. And when you've typed in your description, you press subtotal and save it by pressing cash. So what that, that has done, that has changed the charge in charge free in draw will now say PayPal in draw, but I'm also going to change the charge free sales to say PayPal sales. Um, so if I refer back to my flow chart that I've drawn out, that's basically the same process, but I'm pressing 65 and typing in a different description. So I'm already in the P position, the PGM mode. So it's 701 followed by subtotal then 65, followed by quantity time, pop on your overlay again, type in your description, subtotal to save, cash to finish, got a feeling my till roll's going to run out because I've got that red line appearing on there. But if we pop through a quick sale now and use the charge free button, obviously remember I, all my programming is to do with a charge free button. So if you have not set up a charge free button, this video is totally pointless. You'll need to refer back to my charge free uh, video, which I'll put up at the end of this one. Um, if we now do a Z report. So that's the new one, that's my old one. So we've changed charge free in draw on this one and charge free sales to be PayPal in draw and PayPal sales. Okay, hope that video's made sense. Um, if, if it hasn't, you can message me through YouTube. Um, you can download, if you haven't got the manual, the manual will be really helpful. You can download that from our website. Um, if you've got technical support with us, of course you can give us a call. Um, quote your tech ID number. If you haven't, um, drop us a message through YouTube if you want a specific video doing and uh, we'll endeavour to get that done for you. Um, thanks for watching.